Hey, what's up guys? BSD Spear here and welcome to another Destiny 2 video. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to get the Tractor Cannon Catalyst Drop as well as uh, how to fully upgrade your Tractor Cannon Masterwork. So if you guys enjoy this video, do me a favor, drop a like down below, share this video with your friends, and also be sure to subscribe for more Destiny 2 content. Now before we get started, I want to give a huge thanks to everyone for all your support on the last uh, exotic masterwork video if you guys missed that be sure to click the link at the top of the screen now uh, but thank you so much for all your support on that video let's go ahead and get into this guide on how to get the tractor cannon masterwork all right so the first step is we need to get the tractor cannon catalyst to drop now, in case you guys weren't aware, not every single exotic is going to have a masterwork version right now. They're going to be adding more catalysts uh, throughout the summer, throughout the rest of the year. Um, so eventually every exotic will have a masterwork, but right now not everyone does. The way you can tell if an exotic has a masterwork is if you go to inspect the exotic and there's a spot next to the mod slot for a catalyst, that means that weapon uh, has a catalyst that can drop for it. So if we go ahead and inspect the tractor cannon, we can see uh, the description reads, uh, found by defeating enemies of humanity wherever they lurk. So upon uh, your guys' feedback in the last Exotic Masterworks video, along with our other research that we've done, uh, we can now actually determine, I'm pretty sure it's a actually a random drop in PvE. Now this has to be in PvE, it can't be in PvP, uh, because there are different catalysts for that, but the Tractor Cannon one is a PvE drop. So pretty much just killing any enemies in any activity, raids, uh, strikes, public events, patrols, any of that uh, is a way that you can get this catalyst to drop. Now a huge shout out to my buddy ShadowGod13 uh, for letting me hop on his account and get some recordings done. Uh, but he was the one that actually got this Tractor Cannon Catalyst to drop and it was actually sitting in his Postmaster after we had completed the World Eater layer. So at some point during the World Eater layer, he killed an enemy and dropped the uh, Catalyst uh, and he wasn't able to pick it up so it went to his Postmaster. So uh, make sure you guys are checking your Postmaster because if you don't pick it up from killing an enemy, uh, it will go there. But I would hate to be that guy that doesn't check his postmaster it goes to the postmaster and I honestly don't know what would happen if it got removed from the postmaster so um, don't be that guy all right so once you actually have the tractor cannon catalyst uh, what you need to do next is go ahead and apply it. Remember that you have to apply the actual uh, catalyst by hovering over it, hit X or A, um, because if you don't, then you're not actually making your weapon uh, masterwork and you can't move on to the next step to actually upgrading it. So once you have your catalyst applied, then you get to see the new objective you have uh, to upgrade your masterwork tractor cannon. So uh, our objective for this one is to get kills with tractor cannon. So I decided I'd head into um, some PVE events as well as some crucible and kind of compare um, how many kills it would actually take to get this thing upgraded all the way. So if you're doing this in PVE, it's gonna take three kills to go up 1%, which means you would need 300 kills in PVE alone uh, to be able to uh, reach this milestone, this objective completed. Now Crucible is a little bit different because it takes a lot more skill, I think, to get a kill in Crucible. Um, so uh, upon review, once you get a kill in Crucible, it actually goes up by 2%. Now what that means is you only need 50 kills uh, in Crucible with the Tractor Cannon to upgrade this up all the way. Now of course you could do both, um, but personally um, I had some fun doing Crucible, um, but it is kind of a pain because with Tractor Cannon to one shot people, you really have to be right up in their face and uh, fighting for that power ammo can always be a struggle sometimes, but you know it didn't stop me from getting this uh, team wipe. All right, so either way that you upgrade it, whether in PvE or PvP, uh, once you do get your either 300 kills or your 50 kills or your combination, once you get it to 100%, you're going to get the notification that the Tractor Cannon is fully upgraded. So go back into the Tractor Cannon and go ahead and apply that upgrade, and then now you have your fully upgraded Tractor Cannon. Now once you fully upgrade the Tractor Cannon Masterwork version, uh, what it does is it actually increases your ammo reserves, meaning you get seven shots in one clip, and that's crazy for a shotgun like the Tractor Cannon. Um, that's definitely really good, especially uh, with all of the exotic buffs that it received in the new DLC and Season 3 update. All right guys, that's gonna wrap it up for this video. That is how to get the Tractor Cannon Catalyst as well as how to fully upgrade your Tractor Cannon Masterwork. 
So if you guys enjoyed this video, please do me a favor, drop a like down below. Also comment down below what uh, you guys did to get your Tractor Can Catalyst if you've gotten it already, and if you guys are enjoying the Tractor Can and Masterwork as well. Be sure to share this video with your friends so we can help everybody get their uh, exotic Masterworks completed, and also subscribe to the channel if you're new here for more Destiny 2 content. But thanks again for watching, you guys are awesome, and I'll see you guys in the next one.